Back in the last century, a robot was associated with a clumsy mechanism that moves with a screech and looks more like a pile of metal in a tangle of multicolored wires than a person. However, science did not stand still. Engineers learned how to create intelligent machines of various forms, including robot animals, and the crown of creation became anthropomorphic structures that have an incredible resemblance to humans. Modern humanoid robots are able to read the emotions of the interlocutor conduct a meaningful conversation, remember faces, every year they look more realistic and behave more naturally. Why a person surrounded by six billion of his own kind is so eager to give the mechanism an anthropomorphic appearance remains a mystery. Perhaps everyone wants to be a creator and create a creator and create a creature with unusual abilities in their own image and likeness. It's no secret that the most humanoid robots in the world are created in the land of the rising sun. And Geminoid DK is no exception. This anthropomorphic, ultra-realistic cyborg was developed by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University in tandem with colleagues from the Japanese Research Institute of International Telecommunications. Geminoid DK is the first Japanese robot with a European appearance. The android is designed in the image of Henrik Scharf, a teacher from Aalborg University in Denmark. An amazing feature of this mechanism is that the sinister valley effect does not appear immediately when looking at it, but only at the moment of movement and gesticulation of the model. The clone sitting motionless looks very realistic. Henrik Scharf and his university colleagues plan to use Android to study human-robot interaction. Geminoid Diki will meet with visitors and communicate with them on philosophical topics. Scientists want to study the so-called mixed presence effect. They will try to understand whether our reaction to a person changes when we talk to him remotely, while he translates his emotions through the facial expressions of a robot using special equipment. Judging by the experiments already conducted, in such a situation a person is inclined to experience confusion and demonstrate a non-standard phenomenon of perception. Geminoid F is another creation of engineer, Hiroshi Ishiguro from Japan. The robot has the appearance of a 20-year-old girl with dark hair and he's incredibly photogenic. He can smile realistically, frown, and portray some other feeling. The emotions of the anthropomorphic mechanism can be controlled remotely. A human operator sits down in front of a computer with cameras. The image of his face is processed using software, and the operator's facial expressions are displayed on the face of Geminoid Fess of Geminoid F. The synchronization process takes a fraction of a second, and what is happening looks spectacular. Initially, the developers plan to make the android's facial expressions as natural as possible, without using a large number of actuators. The main task was to endow Geminoid F with a friendly, convincing smile, and it succeeded. Ishiguro and his colleagues plan to test the robot in hospitals, send it to presentations in scientific museums and other public places. Robots that look like humans can cause the sinister valley effect, but in the case of this cyborg, the opposite is true. The humanoid girl was developed at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. She is able to talk about different topics, remember things that you mentioned earlier, and find out about the passage of time thanks to modern software. In the future, social androids may become an analog of the robot C. 3PO, 3C3PO, from the Star Wars saga, who knew many languages and knew the rules of etiquette. Nadine is a social companion designed to interact and communicate with people. Such robots can be used as nannies and nurses for elderly people suffering from dementia. Humanoids will get along especially well with autistic children, who find it difficult to perceive living human emotion. Nadine adapts to each person. Her mood can change depending on the behavior of the interlocutor, so the robot can be seriously offended by rudeness in his address. When interacting with special children, Android maintains neutrality, seeking their attention and sympathy. Externally, the robot represents a double of its creator, Professor Nadeshta Telman. In order for Nadine to rotate in a social environment and hone her communication skills, she was made a secretary at the university reception. Japanese scientists from laboratories in Tokyo and Osaka have created an anthropomorphic robot altar. Despite the fact that the smart car looks unfinished and is not an exact duplicate of a human, it has an amazing trait that ruins the ideal image of more perfectly looking androids. 
Alter's movements are devoid of torn mechanical articulation. They are incredibly smooth, fascinating, and indistinguishable from human ones. There are 42 pneumatic drives in the robot's body. Its seemingly chaotic movements are controlled by neural network algorithms based on sensor readings that replace human feelings for the robot and react to noise, humidity, people approaching, changes in ambient temperature, etc. Based on the data coming from outside, the robot decides for itself how to move and what facial expression to adopt. Alter can even sing. Now Android can be viewed at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Tokyo. Chen Xiaoping and his colleagues from the Chinese University of Science and Technology, following Japanese engineers, created a robot similar to a human, Jia. Jia is endowed with artificial intelligence, can speak, simulate emotions and read people's facial expressions, navigate space thanks to cloud technologies. The robot is surprisingly similar to a human while being quick, witted, and witty. Her brain is an impressive online database that allows her to process emotions and recognize speech, and this skill is constantly being improved. Gia Gia is a wonderful conversationalist. She quickly forms an answer, in less than a second. The robot has a lot of fans. There is even an unofficial nickname Robot Goddess. It looks so majestic and inviting. When fans wanted to take a joint photo with Gia, Gia, she decided to make a joke. She asked not to bring the camera too close to her face so as not to look fat in the picture. The android casually looks from one interlocutor to another and the movements of the lips are synchronized with speech. Perhaps this is the most advanced robot to date. The creator does not plan to establish mass production of humanoids. He wants to see his brainchild unique and will teach him new algorithms. Chen Xiaoping and his colleagues from the Chinese University of Science and Technology, following Japanese engineers, created a robot similar to a human, Jia. Jia is endowed with artificial intelligence, can speak, simulate emotions, and read people's facial expressions, navigate space thanks to cloud technologies. The robot is surprisingly similar to a human while she is quick-witted and witty. Her brain is an impressive online database that allows her to process emotions and recognize speech, and this skill is constantly being improved. Jia Jia is a wonderful conversationalist. She quickly forms an answer in less than a second. The robot has a lot of fans. There is even an unofficial nickname Robot Goddess. It looks so majestic and inviting. When fans wanted to take a joint photo with Jia Jia Jia, she decided to make a joke. She asked not to bring the camera too close to her face so as not to look fat in the picture. The android casually looks from one interlocutor to another, and the movements of the lips are synchronized with speech. Perhaps this is the most advanced robot to date. The creator does not plan to establish mass production of humanoids. He wants to see his brainchild unique and will teach him new algorithms. Thanks for attention. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell.